When you imagine a farm, you probably see a little family-run farm with a house, a lovely yard, and mountains of beautiful greens. You might also see a big industrial complex with heavy farm equipment worth millions of dollars operating in fields as far as the eye can see. But, you might want to add this picture to your imagination. This is an indoor farm. So what is indoor farming? How could it change traditional farming? And how could this new rising technology be a solution to global warming and global food security? Indoor farming, in a simplified way, is farming done in closed buildings. It frequently uses technologies like hydroponics, artificial lighting, sensors, and software to control growing conditions. It does not require large equipment and often uses less water and nutrients than growing outdoors. Conventional farming necessitates a large number of resources and infrastructure such as land, irrigation, and manpower to manage farms. Indoor farming offers the potential to remedy the shortfalls of conventional farms by providing a controlled, intelligent, and smart environment. Indoor farming allows farmers to control and optimize the growing process. Everything is under control even the amount of light plants gets each minute. Types of indoor farming As long as crops get the basics of water, light, and nutrients, indoor farming can have different forms. Vertical farming In vertical farms, crops are grown in vertically stacked layers. This type of indoor farming requires large and tall buildings, a LED lighting system, and a nutrition system capable of delivering the basic need of water and nutrients to all the plants. To monitor crops in vertical farms we use sensors and software. With this kind of farming system, you can grow a lot of food year-round in a small space using sustainable practices. Hydroponic Farming At the simplest level, Hydroponics is a way of growing plants in a nutrient solution rather than soil. The roots are entirely surrounded by nutrients, making it much easier for them to absorb what they need. The plants can grow quickly with higher yields of fresh produce. The nutrient solution is a liquid solution that is fortified with the big three macronutrients, known as NPK, or nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium along with other nutrients such as magnesium and calcium essential for healthy plants. Because of the lack of dirt indoor farming is a more hygienic way to grow plants and it uses less water for faster growth and higher yields. Hydroponics is the perfect fit for indoor farming. Other factors, such as light, air, and space are also controlled. This means you can build a hydroponic farming system pretty much anywhere. Controlled Environment Agriculture or CEA There are advanced and intensive forms of indoor farming, where plants grow in a very controlled environment to provide optimal growing conditions for crops and prevent disease and pest damage. Controlled Environment Agriculture includes a variety of indoor farming systems that rely on technology. They can range from greenhouses to full indoor vertical farms. The most advanced ones are fully automated with closed-loop nutrient cycling and controlled lighting, water, and ventilation. Operating controlled environment agriculture requires solid expertise in chemistry, plant physiology, plant pathology, entomology, horticulture, engineering, and computers. The indoor farming industry contributes more and more to the world's food supply. It is projected to be a $120 billion industry in 2030. Advantages of Indoor Farming Compared to conventional farming methods, indoor farming has many advantages. Land Use Efficiency Indoor farms can grow many more plants on a given area of land than outdoor fields. It can be extremely helpful in densely populated communities where there may not be much land for agriculture year-round crops this is the most important advantage of indoor farming systems it's never too cold too snowy or too hot for plants you can plant any crop without worrying about adverse climatic conditions less transportation 
Growing food in urban areas or dry, inhospitable regions helps to cut down on food transportation. Thus the food stays fresher for longer periods and most importantly we can cut down on food waste. Healthier food. By controlling every aspect of the plant's growing environment, from nutrients to lighting, farmers can grow more and healthier food. Indoor farms are completely sealed off from the outside environment, there are virtually no pests. There is no need for pesticides or herbicides. Food grown is healthier and safer. Environment friendly. In indoor farming systems, everything is under control. There is no need for harmful pesticides or herbicides, and crops are grown with less water and fertilizers. What can we grow indoor? Leafy greens such as lettuce, rocket, and other salad types are some of the most common crops to be grown indoors. More than 50% of indoor farms produce leafy green and herbs because they are easy to grow, require less space, and the demand is significantly increasing. Theoretically, it is possible to grow any plant completely indoors. However, not all crops are economically viable to grow indoors. Experiences done so far have shown that many vegetables are exceptionally easy to farm indoors, such as Cucumbers Peppers Strawberries Tomatoes Indoor farming also often includes Summer squash Eggplant Cantaloupe Microgreens and sprouts Spinach and Mushrooms by the year 2050, the population is expected to reach 9.7 billion, and to feed everyone, global food production will need to increase by up 70% in the next 30 years. In another hand, rising temperatures and frequent droughts caused by global warming are making traditional farming methods more inefficient and unpredictable. Indoor farming technology has been around for 20 to 30 years and is proven to be commercially viable. So can we rely on this technology to meet the needs of a growing global population and support traditional farming?